welcome Sneha. And uh, here she is. Namaste. My name is Sneha Chakradhar. I do uh, the Indian classical dance form of Bharatanatyam. It's one of eight classical forms in India and uh, it comes from the south of India and they say that was born in the temples about 2000 years ago and uh, it was nurtured and passed on from generation to generation by a community of women who practice this form. Of course a lot has changed over a period of time but this form has existed for thousands of years. So. Um, I moved from India last year to Santa Fe with my family and Monomundo was the first stage that I got to perform on and uh, I feel really happy to be back on stage and thank you so much Jasmine for inviting me again. Um, thank you. I had planned to do a different piece today but unfortunately I injured my knee and so I had to change the piece which is now little shorter so I'll still take my entire time because I'm gonna talk more. <laughs> um, and I think everything happens for a reason. I feel this piece that I've chosen now is way more relevant to the time and place. As you all might know India was colonized for a long time and 75 years ago on the 15th of August we got our independence. So two days from now is the Indian Independence Day, the 75th Independence Day. And the song that I'm going to perform played a very crucial role in, in the struggle for independence. It ignited a spirit of nationalism and pride amongst Indian and it it propelled them, it energized them, united them to stand up against the colonial power. This song was so impactful, so powerful that the British actually banned it from being sung or played. But Indians, they never listen. They don't know how to follow rules anyway. So they continued singing and it became like a marching slogan. It's, it was written in the late 19th century by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay and uh, it's in a uh, Sanskritized Bangla. So let me explain the piece to you, I'll translate it. It's an ode to the motherland and the poet has uh, personified the nation, India, into a beautiful woman. A woman who has a very deep maternal spirit, a mother who nurtures, who cares for you, who provides for you. So he says, Oh, mother, I bow to you. You are, you know, there are flowing rivers and streams of water everywhere you go. There, is, there are beautiful mountains and the cool breeze always takes care of us. You have abundance of fruits and crop for us. You have a beautiful face that has a lovely smile and you speak so many languages. Your lush green, oh dusky beauty, mother, I bow to you. The radiant moon illuminates everything, it breaks darkness. And the creepers and the flowers make nights and days fragrant. Oh mother, please bless us with eternal happiness and contentment. Mother, I bow to you. So this is the piece that I shall do one day, Mataram. Um, as you can notice, the poet did not explicitly mention India anywhere. So this song is also, in my opinion, relevant here in Santa Fe. I've been here for a year and I've enjoyed uh, the rivers, the streams, the arroyos, and I enjoy the mountain breeze. It's the best summer in the US, I feel. And you know, I my heart skips a beat every time I see the moon through the skylight in my dance studio. Everything fits here. So thank you, Santa Fe, for having me. And I feel very fortunate being here. And to all the Indians 
uh, present in the audience, a very happy 75th Independence Day. Oh, baby. 